Look at the chandeliers. Mmm. It's so nice to have a lustre. Hi, I'm Mike Gibson, and this is Expat in Russia. I've been in Russia for 27 years, and I totally love this place. So I thought it's time to share some Russian stories with you. This is a big country with a big heart and big stories to tell. One of the most famous symbols of the capital are the Stalin skyscrapers. They are also known as the Seven Sisters and they are spectacular. Looking like something out of a movie, they remind me a little of Gotham City or science fiction movies. I almost expect to see the Batman symbol projected onto them. января 47 -го года страна узновидит постановление, где будут намечены точки на карте, назначены архитекторы, решено, сколько этажей в каком здании будет, а также, что там будет располагаться. Stalin ordered their construction after World War II, part of his plan to regenerate Moscow and make it a modern city to compete with developed cities of Europe and the USA. In total, seven skyscrapers were built. The eighth, which was to have been built on today's Zeriadia Park, was never started. Вообще все архитекторы, конечно, соревновались, потому что кто построит первый, тому гарантирована сталинская премия. Behind me is Mead, or the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It was the first Stalin building, or Vostokka, to be built. It's 27 floors. And it's the only one without a star on the top. The Foreign Ministry was built from 1948 to 1953. At the same time, another of the Seven Sisters was also built on the Garden Ring. They say it was a real challenge for engineers and builders. And this Stalin building is on Krasnevarota Square and has its own metro station entrance. The most famous and the largest of the Seven Sisters is the Moscow State University, or MGU, and it is spectacular! It is the most famous and the tallest of the Seven Sisters at 240 meters. We can see her from anywhere in Moscow. The central tower is decorated with the largest clock in Moscow. They say that there are also many underground floors here. Гарантированно могу утверждать, что есть 8, поскольку там была, но разговоры ведутся о том, что их 30 и более. The high-rise building on Katalnitschewsky embankment near to the Moscow Kremlin has many secrets. This is a residential building. And this Stalin building was the home for a great number of very famous people. Artists, famous poets, directors and other creative people have all lived in this Stalin building over the years. The legendary ballerina Galina Ulyanova had a lovely apartment here. This is so beautiful. Right in the center of this Stalin building, this is the center axis, and this apartment occupies like the middle of the building with fantastic views all the way down to the Kremlin and Moscow City along the Moscow River. Helena was famous and loved throughout the world, and she lived in this apartment for almost 50 years. Now it is a delightful museum. Most things here remain untouched, and the tear is just as it was during her lifetime. This Stalin building is called the Leningradske Hotel, and of the seven sisters, it is the smallest, but considered the most beautiful. The Leningradske Hotel is only 136 meters high. Inside, the hotel is just like a 17th century palace with magnificent interiors. And this is the famous chandelier, which was at one time in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's longest. It is 15 and a half meters long. This Vysotko on has several names, one of which is the House of Aviators. And here is an example of a famous aviator, a test pilot, who lived in this house. And here is Mikhail Pasorkin, the architect of this Vysotko. And he lived here. Вместо в высотке 14, но вот таких пышно парадных, роскошных и богато оформленных три. Мы находимся в первом подъезде, наверное, самым великолепно убранным. Just look at this giant stained glass window. Its lighting is turned on several times a year on special holidays. So now we're going into the super beautiful restaurant Balzerossi. That's one door. <laughs> 
Previously, the magnificent Delhi No. 15 was located here. It was the largest grocery store in the Soviet Union. The rich interior of the former Delhi has been preserved almost completely. The owners of the new restaurant only added a few decorations. Now the old Soviet style is perfectly combined with delicious Italian food. The concept of the history and something very important, it's, uh, I think it's combined very good in uh, such beautiful place. Yes. How does having a restaurant such an amazing and very unique uh, location, how does that affect you um, coming to work? I feel we was lucky to catch such place, but when you feel inside, after uh, you start to feel part of it, and uh, it's um, even now if I tell you I have got skin, you know, because oh, yeah. when you watch each piece and you know that it's original from that time, it's uh, wow, it's not a museum, but it's wow. I want to eat. <sighs> The chef of the restaurant, Emmanuel Mongilo, invites us to go into the restaurant's kitchen. It is located a few floors below ground. Wow, so we're going down into the basement. And this is only part of the basement. Emmanuel, originally from Italy, has been living in Moscow for many years. His team of chefs is international from Italy, France and, of course, Russia. Outside bad weather, so today yeah. it's a little bit more light. Quiet. This is good for us to try something new or make something, uh, some test. Okay. We use the time like this. In just five minutes, Emmanuel prepared an incredibly tasty dish for us. Shrimp, stracciella, mozzarella, oh, so good. Mmm. With the acidity, the fat, the creamy of the shrimp. Mm. The taste of powder to make you a bit dry. That and is the, good. And the crunchy part to give yeah, you yeah, yeah, more yeah. salivation. Wow, that was like a complete kind of like opera of wonderful taste in my mouth. <laughs> that was great. Wow, that is amazing. Each of the seven sisters has a network of underground passages. No one really knows how deep they are. By the way, this high-rise was also called the Secret Agents High-Rise because it's right next to the American Embassy. Like this. Oh, it's amazing. Sector. Right. Well, you can make a movie whoa, down whoa, here. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I want to show you the door. Where is the door? Ah, look. Yeah? This one. This one original door from that time, you see? Wow, there's another whole room, and not just a room, there are stairs going down to another level. You could really get super lost in here. The Hotel Ukraine was built last, and she is the second tallest among the seven sisters at 206 meters high. So we're in the lift going up to the 29th floor, which is one of three elevators, which will take us to the 33rd floor. This is an amazing lift made with incredible um, wood from the Karelia region, which is a beautiful part of Russia. So here we are on the 33rd floor and we're inside a very cool and exclusive bar called the Mercedes Bar and we're going to go out onto the terrace. How cool is that? Coming out into the light on the balcony. Whoa! Wow! That is astonishing! Gosh, so bright! And literally we can see all four sides of the Vesotka. We're right up at the top near that incredible star. So I'm up here now on the viewing platform. It's 120 meters. And above me is the famous star, which is still another 73 meters. Each of the seven sisters, with the exception of the foreign ministry building, is decorated with a star on the top. Each star is unique and absolutely massive. So that was our program about the Seven Sisters. They are indeed a remarkable family of buildings full of character, energy and loads of history. We hope you enjoyed our program and will come back and watch us again. And please do subscribe to us down below. Bye. Alfred, do you want some? It's so good, you've got to try it. And it's windy. Wow! <laughs> oh, the sun! Ah, it's great!